Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the whipped coffee or the popular Dalgona coffee. Please stay tuned. Enjoy. Give this a thumbs up. This coffee recipe. You need your granulated sugar. You need your instant coffee. You need hot water. You need two tablespoons of each. I'm using a measuring spoon because I don't want to make any mistake. And you please, if you're wondering why my coffee is in a motor, permit me, I just had cube sugar at home, so I had to blend it, or I had to grind it with my hand, with a little pistol, and I don't want to use a blender, that's why. Please, if you have a cake mixer at home, use it, it will save you the strength, it will save you time. With a cake mixer, you should be done whipping your whipped coffee in three minutes. But if you are using your hand and it is your first time, be sure that you are going to be whipping for over an hour like I did the first time I did it. But now that was shooting it for YouTube, I think I used 45 minutes. And at the time, I did not even feel it because I think I was already used to it. Or I'm already used to it. Um, you need arm strength if you're using your hand. And you need matter special. When you're using your hand to whip, from the beginning, you're going to start having lumps. You have to be patient to make sure that the lungs dissolve so that you can continue. You, the whipping will be smooth. If you don't have patience and you want to throw away the lumps, <laughs> my darling, feel free. Now you can see that the lumps are fully dissolved. So it's time for you to beat. If you think this already works, start. My dear, you're just warming up. This is warm up as far as I'm concerned. If you're using your hand. And now this is where the work begins. It's already changing color, it's getting thick, and your mind is like, oh, I'm almost there. The first time I did, I still spent like one hour whipping. Now, at this point, I think I've just spent 30 minutes whipping. You can see how it has changed, the consistency has changed, where you're getting thick. It's looking like custard or ugi baba. For those of you that don't know what ugi baba is, it's like a Nigerian pap. <laughs> giving to children when they just start taking something a bit. and now you can see this because this has changed again the color has changed a bit but it's not as thick as it's supposed to be because it's still, like how will i put it it's still running smooth when you raise it up it's supposed to be thick like very thick thick like this can you see it's not it's not running i don't know if what, what i'm saying makes sense it's supposed to have breaks so that when you're pouring it it's not dissolving into the milk straight. You see what I mean when I'm ready, when it's time to put in the milk. As you can see, I've put it, I've put ice, ice block in my in my glass cup, in my cup. Time to use, pour my milk, I've poured my milk. You can use any type of milk, basically, I just prefer almond milk, it's my personal preference. Now, this is what I mean when I say it's supposed to have a thick consistent and not a smooth run you can see the breaks is having into it so it could take time for it to dissolve into the milk and that's why when you're done mixing the top is always frosty basically yeah that is it when you're done pouring everything into the glass cup you can you now have your whipped coffee your down coffee it's really nice you could take it alone as you drink you could have it with pancakes. You can, like me, I like having it with vegan pancakes. Um, or you could have it with sandwich. And that is it. Voila, you have a lovely, you have your lovely cup of coffee. Enjoy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.